Good evening, my students, and welcome to Madrasa Net. Today's video will be about uh, your second test. We will practice together. I choose for you, my students, an example how to prepare for the test. لقد اخترت لكم تلاميذي الأعزاء مثال على الفرض الثاني. We will see together how will you prepare for the second test. Test. سوف نرى مع بعض كيف سترتبون نفسكم وتجهزون نفسكم للفرض الثاني. So let's see together the second test. It's concerning your sequence two. الفرض الثاني يخص وحدتكم الثانية. It's all about what we did together. سوف يكون على كل ما درسناه مع بعض. We start here. This one. We will start with a text. We read a text. This is the first part. We have the second part and the third part. So, my students, when you start doing the test, you have to read the text carefully. You read the text carefully. Carefully. عندما تبدأون الفرض يجب عليكم تلاميذي الأعزاء أن تركزوا على النص. يجب قراءة النص مرتين أو ثلاث مرات. We start reading the text. Emily, this is Emily who talks. هذه إيميلي التي تتكلم على نفسها. إيميلي said قالت One of my special memories was my first day at elementary school. I was so excited to meet my new friends and teachers. Mrs. Emma taught me English. And one of the most important things in life, how to care for others. هذا الجزء الأول إما تتحدث فيه عن ذكرياتها في at elementary school. تكلمت عن teachers. The first one is Mrs. Emma. علمتها الإنجليزية. And one of the most important life. شيء أهم في الحياة is how to care for others كيف تعتني بالآخرين كيف تتصرف مع الآخرين This is the first part with Mrs. Emma We read the next part Yes Mrs. Catherine taught me how to read and write and encouraged me to write short stories and poems. I loved writing, and my dream was to become a famous writer someday. Before I left elementary school, Mrs. Catherine told me, keep writing and never give up your dream. Have he? Mrs. Catherine, معلمتها الثانية درستها الكتابة والقراءة وشجعتها على أن تبقى دائما تكتب وحلم إيميلي to be famous writer to be كاتبة مشهورة في يوم من الأيام We see the third part Mr. Bradshaw الأستاذ Bradshaw taught me maths. I really like doing maths projects. He also taught me to be self-confident and always believe in myself. Thank you, Mrs. Emma, Mrs. Catherine, and Mr. Bradshaw. I have learned from you how to turn all my dreams into reality. I have never forgotten you. هذا الجزء الأخير يتكلم على المعلم براتشاو أستاذه الرياضيات مادة الرياضيات الذي علمه أن يكون دائما self confident أن يكون واثق من نفسه to be self confident 
and always believe in myself دائما علمه أن يكون أو أن تكون دائما واثقة من نفسها thank you وفي الأخير تشكرت لمعلميها and have never she has never forgotten them سوف لن تنساهم أبدا so this text is about Emily memories at elementary school هذا النص يتحدث عن ذكريات إيميلي في المدرسة وعن أساتذ عن معلمها we start the question the first part we have reading comprehension it is about question about the text so we start together we read the question here read the text carefully and answer the following questions يجب عليكم أن تقرأوا النص تلاميذي السنة الرابعة متوسطة قراءة النص بحذر ونجيب على الأسئلة التي سوف تكون في الفرض we start the question we have read the text قرأنا النص and we start now the question we see together Yes. Answer by true or false. I choose some important points. اخترت لكم فقط بعض المعلومات المهمة. Answer by true or false. هنا يجب عليكم أن تجيبوا بصح أو غلط. There will be a question like that. سوف يكون هناك سؤال مثل هذا. هل هذه الجمل صحيحة؟ غلط. Of course, according to the text. أكيد على حسب النص. So, answer by true or false. We have one and two. Two sentences. We read the sentence and you have to say whether the sentence true or false. ويجب عليكم أن تقولوا هل هذه الجمل صح أم غلط. The first point. Emily has learned from Mrs. Emma how to read and write. هل إيميلي تعلمت من عند الآنسة إيما how to write and read or how to read and write? تعلمت من عندها الكتابة أو القراءة. Is it true or false? According to the text? Yes, my students? Yes, very nice. So it is false. It is false. So, Emily has learned from Mrs. Emma how to read and write. No, because Emily has learned from Mrs. Catherine how to read and write. تعلمت من عند الأنسة كاثرين وليس إيما. The next point. Emily like doing maths projects. Emily تحب أن تعمل مشاريع الرياضة. Yes, very good. It is true. True. According to the text, it is true. هذا السؤال أو هذه الجملة صحيحة على حسب النص. Yes, Emily like doing maths project. تحب أن تقوم بمشاريع الرياضة أو الرياضيات. The next question, an example. Yes, match each adjective with the appropriate statement. سوف يكون لدينا هنا صفات ويجب ربطها بالتعريف الخاص بها. Let's see together what are these adjectives. لنرى مع بعض ما هي هذه الصفات. I choose two adjectives. اخترت صفتين. The first is caring. Caring. Self-confident. الثانية self-confident caring and self-confident let's see together the explanation here we have believe in myself to care for others believe, believe in myself to care for others we see here two adjectives you have to match each adjective with its appropriate statement. يجب عليكم ربط هذه الصفات 
مع تعريفها الخاص بها So we start with caring What do you think about caring my students? Caring Is it believe in myself? No Is it to care for others? Yes, very nice So we match caring with to care for others الصفة caring معناها الاعتناء بالآخرين to care for others very nice self-confident to be self-confident بمعنى واثقة من نفسي is it? yes of course very good believe in myself it is believe in myself So this is another example on question concerning the text. هذا مثال آخر الذي ممكن يكون في الفرض. The next part. Yes, grammar, grammar tools. سؤال يخص بالقواعد. Write the superlative form. Superlative form. لدينا هنا. المقارنة مقارنة التفضيل write the superlative form there will be adjectives سوف يكون لدينا صفات بين قوسين you have to correct them يجب عليكم أن تصححوها we start reading the sentence okay we have these adjectives between brackets you have to For these adjectives in the superlative, we start and be careful. According to the superlative, short adjective or long adjective or irregular adjective. Good, good, and early, early, of my childhood memories was my first day of. Fasting in Ramadan. It was a happy day in my life. We have incompleted, incompleted the uh, paragraph. فقرة غير كاملة. So and grammatically is not correct. وقاعديا ليست صحيحة. You correct. You write the superlative form. Correct them. We start. Good. What do you think about good? Is it short adjective? Yes. Ha! Huh? It is very nice. It is a regular adjective. Superlative of good is yes, very nice. We say the best. The best. So the correct answer is the best. Early. One. Two, three, four, five. We have five letters. It means short adjective. Superlative is yes, excellent. It is the earliest, the best, and the earliest of my childhood memories was my first day of fasting in Ramadan. It was. One, two, three, four, five. Five letters. Yes. So very nice. We say it was the happiest day in my life. أسعد يوم في حياتي. We have superlative form of good, early, and happy. This is another example concerning your test. هذا مثال آخر يخص فروضكم. We move to the next point or next exercise. Correct the verbs between brackets. لنصحح الأفعال. So let's see together what are these verbs and in which tense should we form, should we correct these verbs. لنرى مع بعض ما هي هذه الأفعال وكيف سنقوم بتصحيحها؟ We start Yes, we have a short paragraph While 
Do you remember, my students, with while and when? There will be here, so here you have to study while and when. And what are the tenses that we form, that we should form with while and when? هنا يجب عليكم أن تدرسوا while و when والأزمنة التي تأتي معها. We read. While كاتب ياسين, the verb is get. While كاتب ياسين get more interested in school and in learning, he start to drift away from his mother's word. عندنا while الزمن الذي يأتي بعد while is yes excellent my student it is while كاتب ياسين was getting more interested in school and in learning he we have while and past continuous how about how about the second part the tense should be in yes very nice in past simple we say he started he started to drift away from his mother's word so here concerning this exercise you should revise while and when with past simple and with past continuous after why past continuous after when past simple we see together the next example choose the correct diphthongs or here three thongs three thongs choose the correct three thongs three thongs we see together the words and you classify them in the table we have these words and you have the table. So, we start, we read the words carefully and classify each word according to the right three thongs. نقرأ الكلمات بحذر ونضعها في المربع الصحيح على حسب نطقه آية آية أو أو آية أو تاو تاو yes yes very good it is in three thongs with the three thong أو Tower, tower, very nice. Buyer, buyer, buyer. Yes, very good. It is with ayer, buyer, very nice. Power, power, hour. Yes, very good. It is our power, power. Entire, entire, entire. Yes, very good. It is aye, aye. So this another example concerning three thongs. So here you should also study or revise three thongs and its pronunciation. Wa يجب عليكم مراجعة three thongs. وكيف ننطقها مع الكلمات؟ Maybe this question will be in the test. We see together the next one. The last point in your test will be about written expression. It means you will write a short paragraph according to the text, according to the unit, according to the sequence. آخر جزء في الفرض سوف يكون تعبير كتابي سوف تكتبون فقرة صغيرة يا إما تكون لها علاقة بالوحدة 
أو بالنص الذي حضع في الفرض. We gather here. We talk about Emily, Emily's memories. تكلمنا عن ذكريات إيميلي at elementary school. So you will talk about. You certainly, a kid, remember a very happy event in your life. Narrate this event and describe your feelings. It will be a memory. أكيد لديك you remember تتذكر أي شيء في طفولتك أو في حياتك العامة. You write about this event. تتكلم عن هذا الحدث and you describe your feelings. وتصف كيف كان شعورك. So this is just an example. You guess what will you say, and of course, if you don't have any memory, it's it's okay if you lie, of course, and you choose the right words and the correct form. I will give you here an example about memories. So, نقرأ معا فقرة صغيرة. تخص ذكرياتك في الطفولة. Maybe it will help you in the test. ربما سوف تساعدك هذه الفقرة في الفرض. So we read together the paragraph and how it will be. This is a paragraph. You can pick out some information that it can help you. هذه هي الفقرة وربما يمكن أن تستخرج بعض نقاط الهامة ستساعدك في كتابة فقرة about any memory. We start reading the paragraph. My childhood memories are like the golden time to me. Here, I will share a few of my memories from childhood. I passed my childhood in a village. Near Bihar, my mother was my best friend at that time, and she used to teach me the letters. I started my study with the book full of pictures. I loved that book a lot, and used to see the images, the pictures in it. There are several types of flowers, animals, and pictures. One day, my mother took me to a school near our home. I was really afraid because I had no idea what was going on there. Then they took me into the classroom. And that was an amazing experience for me. I started another life called student life. That is my most important childhood memory. So here you have a childhood about a person who talk about his mother. She is the best friend for him. Uh, his first day at school, he started a life, a student life. He took about his memory. Uh, so this is just an example. You can pick out some information and hope it can help you. This is the last part in your test. هذا هو الجزء الأخير في أي امتحان أو فرض يخصكم سنة. رابعة متوسط. This is just an example about your memory. So thank you very much, my student. Good luck with the test. Don't forget, of course, to subscribe. Visit our Facebook page. Thank you very much. Good luck with your second test. Goodbye. See you next time.